It can be described as one of the most special cars on the Kenyan roads. And it's not because of its plush nature or the fact that it's the only car of its kind in Kenya, but simply because it's special. With a number of attributes similar to a standard deluxe car, like nice shoes, an advanced Porsche dash, this indeed is a beautiful monster. The reason that I'm not donning a red t-shirt is because of one thing, this car, the Range Rover supercharged limousine. This wonder of the road is a creation of yesteryear trials to come up with a car that is not only comfortable but stands out. The history dates back to the 19th century. They were called stretch limos driven by professional chauffeurs. As the most expensive form of automobiles, limousines were culturally associated with extreme opulence or power and are commonly cited as examples of conspicuous machines. Among the most wealthy, limousines are usually hired during special events. While some limousines are owned by individuals, many are owned by government to transport senior politicians. You have probably seen it in a wedding entourage. Laced with flowers and ribbons or at major events where the so-called very important persons get to have a piece of it. To just spend some VIP time in this limousine for just an hour, it will cost you a cool 35,000 shillings exclusive of an escort car of your choice and your fuel budget for its 2.7 litre diesel engine. And just so you know, you can't hire it for less than four hours. So in essence, let's just say 140,000 shillings just to hire this beauty. Your question now would be why would you spend so much money to have this limo? Well, let's start with the interior which can be described as gorgeous. Fitted with high quality leather seats, this limo has a seating capacity of 12. The laser lights running in the cabin make it even more appealing. This limousine also comes fitted with a bar running across the cabin where beverages can be stored and served by a waiter or waitress who of course comes at an extra fee. The floor is fitted with a carpet and a neon glass which adds up to the decor. When it comes to entertainment, the cabin is fitted with speakers all around plus screens that keep the guests entertained. This Range Rover limousine is the only one of its kind in Kenya. Stretching at 30 feet, which is close to a trailer's length, it's definitely a head turner. Richard, the manager at Subaru Motors and I, took the limo out for a drive and it was not the usual. First, the limo cannot go out without an escort, which usually is driven in front. Also, this car cannot be driven normally because so many considerations have to be made. Actually, it's like driving a trailer or a truck. When driving this car, the pilot and the co-pilot help each other to clear traffic and make sure there is enough clearing space for turning, especially at junctions. When we approached a roundabout, it wasn't easy at all. The pilot had to reverse a few meters to join the road. I then take the pilot's seat to just have a feel of what the limo is like. With a 2.7 litre diesel engine growling under the hood, I had no choice but to rave it. However, the biggest test came when I had to reverse the car in a residential area. A task that can be sweat breaking.
Because of the privacy window that is usually closed, the pilot uses the rear view cameras for turning. In 45 minutes, we were back to the yard. A devastating feeling for me because it was such a sweet and unique ride. There are other limousines in Kenya, but this one definitely stands out. For Auto World, my name is Betty Kialo.